Hello everyone, I am Tanu Joon and I am welcoming you all to the question discussion series of this academy. Today we are going to discuss a question of IIT JM Statistics Examination 2022. This is a question of linear algebra, question number 33. In this question, we are given four statements out of which we need to find out which is correct and which is incorrect. This is a multiple select question that is more than one option can be correct. So, we will start with the option A. Option A states that if A and B are encrossed in real orthogonal matrices, such that determinant of A plus determinant of B equals to 0. So, A and B are real orthogonal and determinant of A plus determinant of B is 0. which implies determinant of A is equals to minus of determinant of B. Also, we can see that when we have two matrices which are orthogonal, then we can write the sum of the matrices as A plus B is equals to A into B transpose plus A transpose into B as these are orthogonal so their transpose is equal to their inverse so if we will substitute b transpose by b inverse and a transpose by a inverse then we will get also we can commute this so this is a inverse plus b inverse into b which is nothing but a a inverse b plus a b inverse b which is b plus a and a plus b is equals to b plus a so these two values are equal therefore we can use this here using this we will try to find out the determinant of a plus b because we have to find out whether a plus b is a singular matrix or not so determinant of a plus b as determinant is distributive over product will be equals to determinant of a into determinant of b transpose plus a transpose into determinant of b so determinant of a determinant of b and determinant of b transpose plus a transpose also determinant of a matrix and its transpose is equal and b transpose plus a transpose is nothing but a plus b whole transpose so we will get here determinant of a plus b equals to determinant of a determinant of b and determinant of a plus b transpose these two values are equal so we can substitute the one from the another and i will get here determinant of a plus b equals to determinant of a plus b into 1 minus determinant of a into determinant of b equals to 0 and as we have seen in the last slide that determinant of a is negative of determinant of b so this is determinant of a plus b into 1 plus determinant of b square Now, the product of these two terms is 0, but this term is never 0 as determinant of B can take any value 1 or minus 1. In either case, this value is equals to 2. So, this implies as determinant of A plus B equals to 0 as determinant of B square is 1. So, determinant of A plus B is 0, which implies A plus B is a singular matrix. A plus B is singular. So, statement A is correct. Now, we will go back to our question and statement B. Statement B states that if A is an encrossed real matrix, such that I n plus A is 
is non singular then i n plus i n plus a inverse into i n minus a is a singular matrix i claim that the statement is correct so i need to have an example which satisfies this but does not satisfy this so let's continue with the example for option b i n plus a non singular what if i take a to be i n only so if a is i n then i n plus a is 2 i n which is non singular as i n is non singular so our hypothesis is being satisfied by the matrix i n now i n plus i n plus a inverse into i n minus a we need to check whether this is singular or non singular so i have to replace a by i n and then i will get here i n plus 2 i n inverse into 0 which is i n so this is nothing but the identity matrix itself so i n plus a is non singular but we have also that this is also non singular for us so statement b is incorrect statement b is incorrect now we will move to statement c statement c states that if a is a n cross n real skew symmetric matrix then i n minus a square is a non singular matrix for c a n is n cross n skew symmetric matrix and what do we know about eigen values of skew symmetric matrix eigen values of a skew symmetric matrix are either zero or purely imaginary so eigen values of a are of type plus minus eta x for some x belongs to r it has eigen values of this type only now if lambda equals to plus minus eta x then lambda square is equals to what minus x square which is always less than equals to 0 which implies minus lambda square which is equals to x square which is greater than equals to 0 now we need to find out that i in minus a square is singular or not now this matrix will be singular if any of any of its eigen value will be zero but eigen values of this matrices are say this is b so eigen values of b are 1 2 3 4 lambda square where lambda is an eigen value of a since this is in polynomial in a so any of its eigen value will be a polynomial of a, where lambda is an eigen value of a now we have seen that minus of lambda square is x equals to x square which is greater than equals to 0 always so 1 minus lambda square is always greater than equals to 1 therefore this can never take the value 0 for any value of lambda thus i n minus a square is non singular and this implies our option c is correct that is if a is a n cross n skew symmetric matrix then i n minus a square is always a non singular matrix now we'll move to option d option d states that if lambda if a is n n cross n real orthogonal matrix then determinant of a minus lambda i n is not equals to 0 for all lambda belongs to this set this set contains all the real numbers except 1 and minus 
मूट ऑप्शन डी ए इज एनक्रोस इन रियल ऑर्थोगनल अगेन रियल ऑर्थोगनल मेट्रिक्स अगेन एंड डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ सी डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए माइनस लेमडा आई इक्वल्स टू जीरो इफ इन ऑनली इफ लेमडा इज एन आई कैन वैल्यू ऑफ ए बट सिंस A is a real orthogonal matrix, and we have to take values of reals only. So lambda can take either one or minus one. It cannot have any value other than plus minus one. So determinant of A minus lambda i equals to zero if and only if lambda equals to plus minus one. So for any lambda belongs to this set x belongs to r such that x is not equals to plus minus 1 determinant of a minus lambda i is not equals to 0 therefore therefore option d is also correct so out of these four options we have a C and D are correct options, while option B is incorrect. I hope you have understood the question. Thank you so much for watching the video. For any queries, you can comment in the comment section. Thank you.